Right, so welcome back. You're still watching uh, your story on SA Today. Now, 28 people have been arrested for public violence following ongoing protests in Plettenberg Bay in the Southern Cape. Last night, uh, various uh, businesses in the industrial area were uh, looted uh, and the Youth and Sport Development Office, they torched. Protesters have been uh, uh, joined by surrounding communities. A service delivery protest turned into lawlessness. Residents of Gulweni first took to the N2 demanding housing and better services. The action escalated overnight. It is no longer a service delivery protest. It is crime outright, uh, particularly since last night when we had widespread crime committed in the industrial area right behind us with burglaries um, in, in many of the businesses, uh, looting, vandalism, um, and all manner of, of criminal and illegal activities. Businesses have suffered major losses. Damage in the industrial areas estimated at millions of rands. Our warehouse was completely looted. They smashed double gates, they smashed the roller shutter doors, they smashed all the little gates to get into the building and they've completely destroyed and taken all our uh, goods so we're unable to trade. The knock-on effect for the local economy is likely to be felt for some time to come. They are breaking the branding down so we are making Plet a fearful place to come to. So what's going to happen is we're losing 50 years of building a brand which affects the whole community. It doesn't only affect the tourism businesses, it affects everybody because from bottom of the line to the top of the line Everybody comes to Plet to either have a job or a nice style of life, and that's what's being broken down. Community leaders met the mayor and other officials, but they could not find common ground. The municipality says some of the demands, such as the resignation of three ward councillors, can only be dealt with by the parties concerned. The N2 remains closed, with traffic being diverted via the airport Robert Road. Tanya Krauser, SABC News, Plettenberg Bay.